So there's this guy at my school who I heard many stories about even though I had never actually met the guy personally. But from what I heard about him, I didn't really ever want to meet this guy because if the stories were true, I just didn't like this person. But the other day, I actually got to meet this guy without even knowing he was him. Because basically there's like this one part on campus that's like the, the hangout spot, like you can just, you can go there, you can get coffee, you can talk to people, it's like, it's like coffee and chill pretty much. And there's one area where a bunch of couches are like in a circle in a way so you can kind of like talk with other people while you're being lazy. So I grab one of the couches where a couple other strangers are sitting down. So there's one girl, one guy, I pop a squat, I introduce myself, I start mingling, start making some friends. So we're talking, I'm getting to know them a little bit. They both seem pretty cool. And about five minutes into the conversation, the guy gets up and he says he has to go. And before he leaves, he turns to the girl and he goes, hey, um, real quick, you don't have like $10 I could borrow, do you? And she said no, she only had single dollar bills. And he's like, it's fine. $5 will do. And so right now, I'm not saying a word, I'm just sitting back, I'm just observing the situation. Because when you hear this, you're thinking like, okay, obviously those two are gonna be friends, that's why he's asking her for the money. And as soon as he was far enough away to where I know he like couldn't hear us, I asked her, I'm like, do you know him? Are you guys like friends? And she goes, no, I don't even, I never met the guy before in my life. And so right there I realized something, and I told her, I was like, I'm pretty sure I've heard stories about that guy before, and if the stories are true, he asks people for money all the time. And here's what annoys me, okay? He's asking the girl for money, and all he wants is coffee. That's all he wants. And she said the only reason that she gave her money is because she felt bad for him. Like, literally, he guilted her into giving him money. I understand some people live on coffee, okay? On some days, I am one of those people. But if I don't have money to pay for coffee, guess what? I don't get coffee. And the thing is, that's not even the most annoying part about the story. Because me and her are still sitting on the couches. We, we probably talked for like another 20 minutes before I got up and left. And as I'm about to leave the building, right near the exit, I see that guy again, and he stops me. He's like sitting down, he's like, yo, man, I, real quick, I just want to say you're a cool dude man the guy doesn't even know my name and he's like telling me all these things he's like yeah I just want to say you know I think you're really funny you know I, I appreciate you apparently this guy is DJ Khaled and the thing is if I don't like someone I won't I'm not gonna be like outwardly rude to them I can have my opinions and still be respectful because that's how I was raised but you know he's giving me a few compliments I'm like you know what thanks man I shake his hand and then after we shake hands you know I let go and I try and pull my hand back and this is where it gets awkward because he didn't let go of my hand. Now mind you, uh, this guy is like 7 feet tall, uh, like 300, this, this guy could basically eat me if he wanted to. And he's holding on to my hand still and I'm like, like I'm, I don't know what's going on, I'm like what are you doing? And here's the most annoying part of the whole story, he goes, while, while he's like still gripping onto my hand with like a Vulcan death grip, he's like, yo man, um, real quick, yo, you don't have like $2 I can borrow for the bus, do you? And I'm looking at this guy and I realize that he needs $2 to get on this bus, otherwise he's basically gonna have to walk home because he's gonna be stranded at the school. And so what are my options? I either make this guy have to walk home when it's like 20 degrees out, or I just give him $2, which is like nothing to me. And I don't want to give him this money, you know, I'm looking at him though, and I feel really bad, and so, you know, I reach into my, uh, I reach into my pocket, I grab my wallet, and I look at him, and I'm like... I don't have any money on me, man, sorry. And after that, I walk out of the building, I get in my car, um, and then, but instead of going home like I usually do, I went to a Starbucks, and I bought a coffee with straight cash. Because that guy is literally in his mid-twenties, and he is still a 13-year-old boy mentally, as far as I'm concerned. Like, the older I'm getting, the more I'm realizing that you don't mature with age. Like, I used to think, like, the older you get, the, like, more mature you get. That's not how it is at all. Some of you guys might have felt bad for him and think he should have gotten the free money personally, I don't care what you think though. Like ladies, I'm telling you, above everything else that you look for in someone that you're dating, please, for the love of God, make sure that they're a man. How can you tell if someone's a man? Well, there are a lot of signs that you can tell if a guy is a man, okay? And like, too many for one video. I think it's about how you communicate with people. I think it's about how you handle obstacles that are given to you in life. I think it's about a lot of things. I don't think being a man happens when you're 18. That just means you're a legal adult. Like when it comes to being a mature man, honestly, age is just a number. Because there are so many differences between being a boy and a man. Like for example, a man will own up to his mistakes when he makes them. A boy is just gonna make excuses for why he made the mistake and he won't take fault. A man will respect your boundaries. A boy will respect your boundaries until he wants something in return. A man can make a promise and you're gonna know that he will deliver, like he will he will stay true to his word. A boy will make promises that he can't keep. A man cares and prepares for his future. A boy uh, he'll say he lives in the moment and really he's just saying he doesn't care about his future and don't worry about it when it's too late. A man wants to work and earn his own living. He doesn't want things that are given to him for free. A boy wants stuff to be given to him for free. A man values his time more than anything else in the world. A boy 
values his money more than anything else in the world. Now that's just my opinion, okay? If you disagree, you can disagree. But if you do agree, honestly, I think you should replay that part of the video and memorize that because that is so important. Like a lot of people don't realize this, but I can spend a thousand dollars on something and then if I lose it, I can get it back. I can't spend a thousand hours on something and get that back. And if you agree with me, give this video a thumbs up down below. If we get 5,000 thumbs up, I'll make a part two because I can talk about this stuff for days. But yeah, feel free to leave a comment. Give me, give me an example of a boy or a man that is in your life. And also, if you've watched this far into the video, hopefully you are subscribed. If you're not, you know, fix that. But guys, that's really all I've got to say on it. So thanks for watching. Thank you for listening to my opinions. And I will see you guys next Monday. Peace.